uh, yeah, uh, we are on this second track for a, a talk about crystal tools, the yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we hope. And uh, this is me, it's, I'm Massimiliano Bertinetti. You can find me on LinkedIn, GitHub, and uh, Twitter as Max Bertinetti. I'm uh, just a little older than uh, the poll that we made uh, uh, before and uh, <laughs> of, of the medium. Uh, I'm programming since the late 80s uh, as a passion. I have a Commodore Amiga and I was programming just for fun as a, as a young guy. Then uh, I have a all another career in, in, in the year after the school. But finally, I go to programming uh, also as a work, not only for fun from uh, uh, for year now. It's, I try to contribute to open source uh, before it was asked open source. Uh, at the time, we called it uh, public domain and there is no internet around so it was really difficult to exchange software and so i think that uh, the was the open software was a, a very beautiful way to learn things around i also love uh, linux or over uh, than crystal i use crystal on linux and on uh, Mac OS. I don't use Windows, so I sometimes I was asked for something about uh, uh, Visual Studio Code uh, Crystal plugin on, uh, on Windows, but I cannot respond because I don't know really how it works. Uh, I I have to uh, try to uh, to find a way to also debug it on there. So for the yesterday. Uh, we have uh, created years ago as a community a uh, GitHub uh, organization that is called Crystal, Crystal Language Tools. It is composed from uh, like 17 repos, 20 members and nine teams scattered around the, this, this, the projects. There is also um, this site that I put in the, in the slide that is now uh, really old is not uh, doing really important uh, information. So I think that is also something to work on. I think that one of the people that is, uh, uh, we have to be really grateful with is, uh, Faustino Aguilar, that was the previous maintainer of this uh, Visual Studio Code uh, plugin and start the work on it and also on other uh, repository and also on uh, um, a large amount of other products. Uh, it was also uh, working on uh, Ember and many other packages. This is the yesterday. Uh, I take this uh, uh, work when I see that Faustino cannot help uh, anymore because he started working and finished the school, I think, um, and uh, cannot help um, a, a lot as before. So I decided just to uh, take over his work. Uh, it was added to the uh, Crystal Language Tool uh, organization. But the real, uh, real uh, thanks to the actual uh, uh, stage of this project is of these people. I don't put uh, all, all the names. If you uh, probably know many of these people and uh, also someone, I also see someone around here. So uh, they know who, who are and uh, uh, I just have to uh, tell thank you to to them all i'm just uh what i'm doing right now is just to uh try to uh, organize the pull request and uh, uh, make uh, the releases of the software for now 
uh, but also in the spare time i i think we have a, a couple of great success and uh, the first is that now uh, the plugin is also on open vsx that is the repository for the uh, open source version of visual studio code uh, that is called the codium and uh, so also if you are using uh, uh, the open source version you can uh, download directly from that repository uh, the plugin without having to uh, download from uh, the github and uh, then apply uh, by end and another great success that is just uh, over the last week is that now um, i published a uh, github action that uh, uh, permit us to uh, just publish when we create a release so i can uh, simply apply uh, after uh, a review the pull request and when then i tag a new release uh, i create a new release uh, the code uh, will be compiled and uh, published uh, simultaneously in the open vsx and the visual studio code the marketplace and i think that is uh, uh, a good achievement for the for the last year to work of work now i go to today what's uh, i continue with today with what uh, this is what is positive this is what is less positive for us um, i just make some research on the visual studio code marketplace um, recently uh, for some other languages for example i do this for go this is what um, what are the first uh, uh, 10 or 12 uh, results on the on the page and so also when you search for the extension on the visual studio code uh, I, I think that is clear from this uh, if you are a go programmer what do you need to install for having the uh, go plugin working and go giving the best on the visual studio code i made the same research in rust and i think that is uh, uh, we have in the same situation there where we have a, a clear uh, idea what is the um, standard the supported plugin and what i can uh, just add to have a, uh, something different better or just um, related but uh, not uh, directly involved uh, you can see that this is bigger language is uh, uh, all the language with uh, uh, large adoption and they are also on uh, stable version so i take another language that is uh, uh, nim that is a language that is uh, near the age of uh, of crystal here the situation is a little different but yeah uh, it's also there is clear what you can use and what is uh, the standard way of working on visual studio code then i do the same uh, research for crystal and we have some problem as a user uh, uh, as a user of crystal if i uh, start working on crystal or start working on uh, visual studio code i found this and this is a problem because uh, the first uh, three uh, plugins are not supported anymore uh, they are old not working not compatible with the last versions of crystals also uh, a couple of other the one that I uh, sign in red are the the two that I think are the main uh, instrument for working with uh, Crystal on Visual Studio Code. Uh, the first with three uh, three hundred uh, more than three hundred download is the new version of the plugin. The one that was published before as Faustino Glar that now is directly supported from the crystal uh, language tools uh, organization um, and the other is the crystal ameba uh, 
plugin that I also think that is uh, really excellent. Also, the crystal specs uh, from Matthew McGurvey is uh, uh, well supported and um, is uh, updated recently. Uh, all the other, I ask if you are one of the maintainer of this uh, plugin, or if you know, I already tried to speak with some of the, of these people, but I cannot reach for them. Uh, I have to ask uh, if it is possible to remove or at least to mark as uh, uh, obsolete so that uh, when a people search for the official supported uh, plugin can find uh, um, the supported one uh, easily because it was really difficult uh, for people to know what to install for example if you see the other language that i made example for so this is the situation from today uh, what we can do tomorrow for uh, uh, the crystal tools i speak first of all for the visual studio code specifically because it's the one that i'm the maintainer for of actually uh, the first thing is uh, I will in the next couple of months, I already started to do this work, but I want to clean uh, all this issue because there is uh, a lot of uh, issue all the more than a couple of years. And I think that are, many are no more relevant or make no sense to take to, to, to have open. So I just starting uh, work uh, contacting people for this uh, issue that open this issue or are involved in this issue and i continue to do this work uh, in the from the end of the year and the next the couple of months uh, at the start of the new year so that we have a uh, um, less uh, issue that are no more um, make no sense to, to have and we can start with another things that I think is important. I will create uh, soon an issue and a suggestion some template for uh, uh, people so that they have a, a clear way of what we need to know about the issue they are uh, discussing because sometimes is really not simple because uh, it is not simple to reproduce the problem sometimes the problem is in the syntax so we uh, clearly prefer a, a little bunch of code instead of a screenshot because we have then to uh, put it by end so it can be a link to a uh, to a repository or can be an extract of the code that give problems, for example. So I will prepare uh, soon uh, to uh, template, as I say, the first for issue and the second for suggestion of what can be done better for um, the Visual, Visual Studio Code uh, plugin. Uh, the third thing is uh, now the release are uh, made uh, by hand. I want to implement a Git flow or a, a GitHub flow um, system for release is something that I already use at work. It will simplify uh, the release process. Uh, having already put in place uh, the automation, it makes simple to uh, work on uh, uh, release that are um, that can be uh, complex from now on since uh, in the next year i think that i can work more on uh, releasing new uh, feature that not only maintaining and patch with the pull request from the ex uh, the from other people uh, so i think that uh, this is for the visual studio code the uh, near future, in the future, the, the next year project, uh, these three uh, key point. Uh, about crystal tools in general, I think that uh, 
um, the actual situation is that, uh, as also Brian says before in his talk, uh, that uh, some project need uh, uh, to be better maintained. So I think that we need, uh, as a crystal uh, language tool uh, organization, we need an, a coordinator. I think that uh, one possibility is to mana uh, one people from mana to work on this, or I can uh, uh, just uh, uh, take this role if it is uh, something that the community and the mana want, and uh, just help to coordinate and maintain the package for the principal. Um, for the principal uh, ID. Another thing is, uh, as we see, the site is very simple. It's just a list of projects. I want something uh, uh, that incorporates uh, things from the wiki of the repositories and uh, something that help also uh, people to decide which uh, ID select uh, buzzing from the, the maturity of the projects and um, something that is uh, simple to discover so that also if we uh, don't um, if it is not clear from the visual studio marketplace for example which is the uh, official uh, plugin we can uh, uh, just override this behavior uh, taking the people from the site directly to the right uh, plugin to install. And uh, I think that another, another uh, structure that we need to change is that uh, we need um, no, like now, uh, scattered team around the things, but uh, uh, people directly involved with these, uh, with these things. So I think we need uh, to put under the crystal language organization all the uh, plugin and people that want to help with this plugin for the principal ID. Uh, all the efforts about L the LSP, so LSP, uh, Scry, uh, but also crystalline, as we see uh, in a minute, can be the uh, select what is, is the mature project to work on and uh, uh, hope that people want to uh, organize to maintain only probably one project, the more mature one, select which one is and uh, decide to, uh, uh, to go over from there. There is also some specific uh, work on a debugger. Uh, I, uh, until now, I cannot follow also that very well, but uh, it is another project that I think in the next year, uh, when we are uh, going near a 1.0 version for of Crystal, we need to concentrate on the, all this effort uh, to make them uh, um, better and uh, more stable for the commun community. Okay, uh, just a fast, fast uh, uh, vision of uh, the actual Visual Studio Code implementation. Uh, I'll try to close this. And open. So for now, uh, I have to close, but it's blocked. Sorry, just a, a second. I have a little problem with OK. 
Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, because uh, it's open office give me a problem and uh, it was blocking my computer, but okay. Okay, do you want to wrap it I, up? I'm trying to share also the Visual Studio Code. At some point, I think I will share, but it's blocked. Okay, can you see now the Visual Studio Code? Not yet, but it's loading. Sorry? We can't see the code yet, but it looks like it's loading. Okay, now you are. Okay, okay. Perfect. I want to just try it. Is blocking. I cannot just. I'm sorry, but something is going wrong with my computer. I try to close some other problem program around. Although, so I can do this. Okay. I don't know why it opens everything over. Okay. This is the Visual Studio Code Insider, just because I, yeah, this is my work computer and I, uh, and the Visual Studio Code is used with other things. I want to start fresh to show you a couple of things. Actually, I don't have anything installed, if only just uh, uh, some team. If you search for Crystal from there and you, and you want to install the uh, support, the official, you have to search for the one that say Crystal Language, Crystal Language Tool Organization. This is the one that uh, need to be installed. When you install this, what I can advise you to do, and I'm sure that is working great on uh, Mac and on the and on the the Linux, all the Linux uh, system is to uh, put in the configuration also the crystalline. Okay, you go to the extension. Search for the crystal language configuration. And the important things is to scroll down. And yeah, here where it says server is going, okay, there. You have to put the complete path of wherever you installed the crystalline. Crystalline is possible to find in this repo that is LB1 crystalline. It is simple to install because the only things you need to do is uh, uh, to just follow this couple of commands there. If you have Lin Linux or if you, are, if you have Mac, you simply just use this buget gzip and uh, change mod uh, commands and uh, then you can put the, the crystalline command on the path and you're good to go. Um, as we see, we have only to uh, install on uh, the to uh, configure the path uh, for the server for using it. And when you have done and you open some uh, file, Uh, it's really unstable now, the system. I don't know.
Okay, probably. Okay. Just to show you how it works, because I'm just going late. Okay, this is a simple crystal init project. I copy and paste a couple of uh, um, of code snippets from um, uh, Kemal. I installed the Kemal uh, shard. Okay, we see that we have a, a syntax, the colored syntax. And we see that if I just can use, we have information about the things that I, uh, that I over. So I, the, the crystalline uh, language server protocol is working and also the plugin. I'm sorry, but the computer is very inst unstable. So this, but this is what I want just you to see. It's uh, the first time that you install crystalline and it takes some minutes before compilation and uh, things are uh, going on because it has to, to work and analyze the project, then it is uh, really fast and work very well. Uh, as I say, I use it on a Mac and I use it on a Windows, different wi Windows uh, distribution. Okay, uh, if there is some question, I can... Okay, thank you, Massimiliano. Uh, there is actually one question in the Q&A. Okay. Johannes asks, uh, I'm not sure how the VS Code ecosystem works, but is it possible to take over Faustino's popular plugin? Uh, no, the actually uh, the Faustino plugin is, is really the one that we are using and that we have updated with the last pull request from the community. Uh, um, the first time that I work on um, on this plugin, I do it on the Faustino plugin that is really the, the same repository, but was not published as a uh, organization. But uh, we do these things of publishing over the organization just because we don't want uh, that if someone for some reason because in yeah this is open source in 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 the common life of everyone open source can be a central part of your life and at some point for some reason work of family and other things you cannot help anymore is is not a there is no uh, way to uh, let person uh, do that uh, forced. So if you cannot work anymore on something, you just can leave it. But now that is published over as uh, as the organization, uh, if I for some reason uh, it happens something to me uh, that I cannot work anymore with this, another people working under uh, the organization can use the repo and the work is going on. This is why we decide uh, with Brian to uh, create uh, uh, in the Visual Studio Marketplace at, at organization level uh, this, uh, this switch. I try to contact Faustino I, um, for him to remove this because now it, it is one is the obsolete one. It was like version uh, 0 0.4. Now we are at 0 0.7 in in the last months. So uh, the only things that we can uh, hope for removing all of this problem of a sovraposition is they, that these people removes their, or at, at least mark as obsolete, if they don't want to follow the work anymore. Anyone that want to help can help uh, me and the organization for uh, Visual Studio Code, for other ID or for the debugger, or for the for the site, for example, um, and uh, we are uh, very uh, happy to have in other people work with us. 
Okay, thank you very much. Um, I hope Johannes that answers your question.